with Pastor Ray Gibbons on Sunday. Praise God today. Praise Him every day. Praise God in Jesus' name. Jesus took our punishment for being wicked. Everything we've ever done and everything that we're ever going to do. Why did He do this? He did it because the devil had to be defeated by a man. So Jesus became man and came here, providing an example for us on how to live bore the weight of our burdens and did just that by being crucified defeated the devil so strive to be Christ like the way to get salvation from him is by accepting him and striving to be Christ like and doing your best in all situations do your best God will do the rest let's have a prayer dear Heavenly Father thank you for the life in our bodies. We thank you that things are as good as they are. We know that people in other, other places have it worse, and we pray for those people. We thank you for our chance of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray for eyes to see and ears to hear. We pray for strength, wisdom, and fortitude to deal with any negative demonic spirits that are trying to get us to act in a way that's unglorifying to you. We pray that your Holy Spirit descends upon us and affects us in all that we say, do, and think. In Jesus' name, amen. Life is a, I find that life is a struggle for me quite a bit. The people around me, loved ones, neighbors, enemies for everybody. Life is a struggle. The struggle is real. I don't care if you're a preacher, a pope, or if you're a Nobel Peace Prize winner. The struggle is real. I find myself getting bitter from it quite a bit. I even find myself getting sarcastic and angry with God about it sometimes. I always get on here and tell you all that I preach about things I deal with in my life. And that's true. This is one thing I'm dealing with in life. The good thing about the struggle is we should embrace the struggle. Because the devil doesn't mess with who he's already got. You see somebody out there living wicked and they've got it all going on and no problems, no worries. That's because they're living that lie. Satan's already got them and he's making it easy for them so they don't change their ways. I find myself all the time thinking that I'm not blessed because I have to be so due diligent on everything. Everything that I do. If I'm not completely diligent, you give me a chance to screw up and I will. And I end up telling myself, I'm not blessed. I get mad about it all the time. I'm not blessed. You know, if I was blessed, I wouldn't do this. I can be doing a wood carving, mess something up. Just the most simple mess up, screw something up. I'm not blessed. Why doesn't God bless my work, you know? The trick is, is identifying God's blessings, which in truth, I am blessed. You know, I, you know we look for God to do it for us. We're here... God doesn't want to do it for us. He wants us to do it. And that's one thing I think we all do all the time is we think that we're not blessed and we are. The big trick in life is to identify God's blessings. The first blessing is the fact that we're alive and breathing, taking up space on this earth. That's the first one. A lot of times that should just be enough that we're given a chance to prove ourselves in this worldly realm. It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. I hear people coming to me all the time, and they only usually come to me when they have a problem, most people. And that's true with all of us. You turn to God when you have problems. Well, how about turning to God when you don't have problems? A lot of times people come to me and they say they're lost, and I have to say, well, you're lost because you're lost. You, know, you put God first in your life, and you won't be so lost. how you want to be treated, not how they treat you. Strive to be Christ-like in all situations. Love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And love your neighbor the same as yourself. Listen to the whisper, not the roar. Stay close to the shepherd because the wolves are near. God bless you.
God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Praise God in Jesus' name.